Deletion of the pelvic part of the ureter. Before we take this relation, what is this? This is the abdominal aorta. Divide into two common iliac arteries. Why this is called the common iliac? Because it divides into internal iliac and external iliac. The internal iliac enter the pelvic cavity to supply most of the pelvic organs. While the external iliac runs on the side of the pelvic wall, on the lateral pelvic wall, directed toward the lower limb to enter the lower limb as femoral to supply the lower limb. The ureter. The ureter end of the abdominal part is here and enter the pelvis at this junction. The end of the abdominal part and the beginning of the pelvic part of the ureter at the level of the bifurcation of common iliac. Therefore, the ureter enters the pelvis at the bifurcation of common iliac artery. Then, runs with this artery to enter the depths of the pelvis. This artery, which is, enter with the internal iliac artery with the same direction. What is the direction? This is a medial view. Medial view to our pelvis. You look from the medial aspect to the lateral pelvic wall. Here is the iliac bone and the hip bone, pubic ischial bone, and the structures on the lateral pelvic wall. The ureter. The ureter descend downward or upward? Sure, upward. Forward or backward or backward? This is the sacrum, backward. And this is the pubic bone, forward anteriorly. Therefore, the ureter enter with the internal iliac artery, downwards and backwards, until the level of this famous spine, which is called the ischial spine. At the level of ischial spine, the ureter should change his direction. Should change his direction to reach its end in the postural superior angle of the bladder. Therefore, the ureter should change his direction and pass forward and immediately. Forward and immediately. From backward, forward and immediately to reach its termination in the posterior superior angle. During the descent of uh, the ureter, the ureter accompanying this artery, uh, the ureter, the ureter accompanying this artery, accompanying the internal iliac artery, and cross on the lateral pelvic wall all these structures. What are these structures? External iliac vessels, artery and vein, obturator nerve and obturator vessels, obturator nerve and artery, and vein. Therefore, lateral relation to the ureter are external iliac vessels, artery and vein, obturator nerve and obturator vessels. Medial to the ureter, the ureter is retroperitoneal structure covered with the pelvic peritoneum, the peritoneum lining the pelvis. <coughs> <coughs> when the ureter changes its direction and pass forward and immediately, it passes above the muscle of the pelvic floor. The pelvis is closed from inferiorly by a muscle 
called the levator in eye. The ureter pass forward and medially above the levator in eye, which is the pelvic floor muscle. During its passage forward and medially, it is crossed by structures. What are these structures? I don't know. This is male or female? In male, the structure in male which comes from the inguinal region, from the scrotum and the inguinal region and enters the pelvis is vas deferens, cross in front of the ureter. And the ureter near its termination, near its termination to enter the posterior superior angle of the bladder, pass above this structure. What is this uh, famous uh, drawing? This is a posterior view to the urinary bladder. This is my urinary bladder and I look from here. Posterior view to the urinary bladder. This is the superior surface of the bladder. This is the posterior surface of the bladder. And on the posterior surface of the bladder, there are seminal vesicles and the ampulla of the vas deferens. This is the vas deferens, then dilate behind the bladder to form what is called the ampulla of the vas. Here in this picture appear the crossing between the vas deferens in front of the ureter and the ureter in its way to end in the posterior superior angle, pass above the upper end of the seminal vesicle. This in male. In female, this also a posterior view to the female genital system. This is the uterus, uterine tube, and from the uterine tube there is a famous fold of peritoneum called the broad ligament of the uterus, and below the uterus this is the vagina, and this pouch in the vagina is called lateral vaginal fornix. This is our ureter. This is a posterior view. And the ureter comes from posterior to anterior. To end the anterior to the uterus in the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is anterior to the uterus. Therefore, from posterior to anterior, the ureter is bus. Forward and medial. Where the bus forward and medially to their way to their rear bladder, the bus in the root of this ligament, bus in the root of the broad ligament of the uterus. Bussing in the broad ligament of the uterus, this famous important artery, the artery which will supply the uterus. Artery supply the uterus, therefore it is called uterine artery. And here the uterine artery crosses above the ureter just two centimeter from the lateral fornix of the vagina. This is important relation during hysterectomy. Hysterectomy is the operation of excision of the uterus. Malignancy in the uterus, any disease in the uterus, and we need hysterectomy. During hysterectomy, this relation is very dangerous because to remove the uterus, you should ligate the uterine artery. During the ligation of the uterine artery, you may ligate the uterine artery and the ureter. Ligation of the ureter bilaterally, leading to bilateral complete ureteric obstruction with back pressure on the kidney, rapid destruction of the two kidneys and the acute renal failure. Therefore, during hysterectomy, during ligation of uterine artery, you should expose the ureter to avoid its ligation with the uterine artery. Um, these are the relation of the pelvic part, in short. Uh, the ureter enters the pelvis at the bifurcation of common iliac artery, pass downward and backward 
with the lower border of the internal iliac artery. The descent downward and the backward crossing on the lateral wall of the pelvis, external iliac vessels, obturator nerve and vessels. When reach the ischial spine, it will di change its direction, forward and medially. And along its course, it is covered with peritoneum because it is retroperitoneal structure. Um, when he passes forward and medially, it passes above the muscle which closes the pelvis from below, which is called the levator eni. And in this part of its course, it will be crossed in male by the vas deferens and the ureter bus above the seminal vesicle in male to end in the bostro superior angle. While in female, the antero superior part, uh, the an anterior part of the ureter which bus forward and medial, bus in the root of the broad ligament of the uterus, crossed by the uterine artery. The artery cross above the ureter. 2 cm lateral to the lateral fornix of the vagina. Um, the ureter is a narrow tube. It's a narrow tube and its terminal part becomes narrow more and more because it busts inside the muscle layer of the urinary bladder. And the terminal part which is very, very narrow part of the ureter, is called the intramural part of the ureter. The intramural part of the ureter enters the thickness of the wall of the bladder and pass downward and medially, pass obliquely, downward and medially, to end in the postro superior angle of the bladder. Here there is a sphincter in the terminal part of the ureter called urethrovasical sphincter. This sphincter allows urine to pass only from ureter to bladder, not from the bladder to the ureter. Um, the ureter in general is a narrow tube. The lumen is six millimeters. There are five areas of normal anatomical narrowing. And this narrow area, if a stone pass in the ureter, usually embedded in these narrow areas. What are these normal anatomical narrowings? The normal anatomical narrowings are the beginning of the ureter, which is the ureter junction, because here there is a sphincter. This is called the belvi ureter junction and the sphincter is narrow. The termination of the ureter, the intramural part of the ureter is a narrow area. And the opening in the mucosa is very, very narrow area. The narrowest part of the ureter is the ureteric orifice in the mucosa of the ureter, of uh, the urinary bladder. And in this area, there are sphincters, beginning and end, belvioreteric and the ureter of the sphincter and the ureteric reefs in the mucosa of the renal bladder. And should be, there are constrictions, should be present where the ureter is kinked. Where the ureter is kinked. Kinking of the ureter occurs in two sides. This first site during entrance of the ureter into the pelvis at the level of the pelvic brim at the level of bifurcation of common iliac artery. The artery, the abdominal part, descend vertically. Then the ureter enters the pelvis by passing backward and downward. Here there is kinking at the level of common iliac artery. The ureter descend downward and backward. And at the level of ischial spine, the ureter become kinked. And they change its di his, his direction forward and medial. Become kinked leading to its direction. Therefore, there are five 
normal anatomical narrowings and constriction in the aorta where stone become impacted if bus if a stone bus in the aorta the beginning and the end belvi ureteric and uretrovazical plus the ureteric orifice in the mucosa plus the two kinking during by passage of the ureter at the bifurcation of common iliac and at the level of ischial spine. What are uh, the arterial supply, venous drainage, lymphatic drainage, and the applied anatomy? We will continue this in the next video. Thank you for good listening and good luck.